So today we're going to be talking about lesson 4.1, which is on classifying triangles. To begin, we can start classifying triangles by angles. For example, we have an acute triangle, which is made up of three acute angles. We also have an equiangular triangle, which is made up of three congruent acute angles. Notice they are acute. We have an obtuse triangle. Obtuse contains only one obtuse angle. Remember, in an obtuse triangle or in any obtuse object, you can only have one obtuse angle. And finally, a right triangle has one right angle. So if we're going to look at these example one right here, the first thing we see in this one is a 70 degree angle, a 70 degree angle, and a 40 degree angle. Notice all of those angles are less than 90 degrees, thus making this an acute triangle. In letter B, we have three angles, a 60 degree angle, a 30 degree angle, and notice a 90 degree angle. To be a right triangle, we only have to have one right angle. So this would be a right triangle. Now, example two. It says classify angle triangle PQR as acute, equiangular, obtuse, or right. And then explain your reasoning. So if I look at triangle P, Q, R, I'm looking at the whole triangle itself. So I look at this angle right here. Angle P is 45 degrees. Angle R is 31 degrees. And angle Q is actually made up of two angles. So 45 degrees plus 59 degrees equals... 104 degrees. And you'll see when you have 104 degrees, that's greater than 90. So this is an obtuse angle, thus making it an obtuse triangle. Now we can also classify triangles by their sides. So if we have Three congruent sides, meaning they are all the same length, we call that an equilateral triangle. When we have only two sides congruent, that's called an isosceles triangle. And when we have no congruent sides, it's called scalene. So we have equilateral, all three sides the same, isosceles, two sides the same, scalene, no sides the same. Now if I look at this example right here, right here, we look at this Russian loop and we see that we have one side being 16 inches, the other side being 16 inches, so those two are the same, and then 18.5-ish inches, the last one is not. So what we're left with is two sides the same. which means this is going to be an isosceles triangle. Now, in example four, we're going to classify triangles by sides within some figure. If point M is the midpoint of JL, here's point M, means that J and L are the same length. Okay? Classify triangle J, K, M. So we're looking at triangle J, K, M as equilateral isosceles or scalene. Alright? So if I'm looking at this one right here, okay, if the whole distance from J to L is 1.5 and M is the midpoint, it means that J to M is going to be half of that, which is 
0.75. Okay? This is also 0.75. Now, I colored over it in blue, but if I was to erase it, you'd see that there's the red tick mark right here and right here, which means that this side is also 0 0.75. And the given side that they give us in our example, JK, is 0.75. So you'll see that JK is 0.75, KM is 0.75, and JM is 0.75. Five. If all three sides are the same, that means that this is going to be an equilateral triangle. And remember, equilateral is when all three sides are the same. Example five. Now we can use the given information that we know to find the missing value or missing side of a triangle. If we look at triangle ABC, we'll see that we have three different sides, all of them containing the variable x. We have to find the value of x before we can find the length of the side. So it says find the me me uh, measure of the sides of the isosceles triangle ABC. Okay, well the first thing I notice right here is that AC and BC are the same length. It means that they're equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them equal to each other. If I have them set equal to each other, this becomes a moron problem. Obviously, the right side has more x's on it, so I subtract 4x from both sides. I'm left with 1 is equal to x minus 0 0.5. How do I undo subtracting 0 0.5? I add 0 0.5 to both sides. I find out that x is the value 1.5. So now that I know that x equals 1.5, I can take this and plug it in for x, plug it in for x, and plug it in for x to find all three side measures. First one, AB. AB is the length 9x minus 1. So what I do is I put 9 times 1.5 minus 1. 9 times 1.5 is going to be 13.5 minus 1. AB is 12.5. Okay? Now we look at the side AC. 4x plus 1. 4 times 1.5 plus 1, 4 times 1.5 is 6 plus 1, AC is 7. And without having to do BC, I can know that it's going to be 7. How do I know that? AC and BC have the same length. If AC is 7, BC has to be 7 as well. So my sides are 7, 7, 7. 